CS2. So, in our earlier uh, tutorial on circular aperture photometry, we have learned that how to uh, plot aperture around us, a star or galaxy or any source using photo tools. So, in this uh, tutorial, we are going to learn that how to find flux in that aperture. So, we will be using like two methods. So, one will be called as a pot uh, table and other we will be using as a, a puzzle a statistics. Now, uh, you can see here that here is uh, my objects, here is my source. So here is my source and we have drawn aperture around that uh, center. So center is uh, around 969 and 955 uh, pixel in X and Y respectively. So what we have to do, we have to measure flux in the corresponding aperture. Okay. So for doing that, okay, so find flux. For table equal to means parameter table equal to aperture photometry and pass your data points image data so image data here basically your uh, this zero dot, dot zero dot data now you have to pass your aperture three this is your aperture aperture 3 okay now you can print your hot table let's see what it comes okay so here you can see that we have you can maybe you can put also i so that which aperture the things are showing okay so you can see that you have say aperture 1 it's uh, x center and y center so this is same for like uh, every aperture and only the flux in that aperture will be vary you can see that flux is like increasing as we are going outward from the center okay so it's corresponding the it is covering the uh, uh, previous flux also in that next aperture okay so this way you can you can also like increase if you want the radius you can make it say 350 400 450 you can you can do like that and You want to obtain only flux so for that you just go here and hot table and type aperture sum and you can also print it run it so you can also access the individual project sum. You can also obtain the first one by indexing. So this is your all uh, five fluxes. Okay. So this way you can do. So I hope you got the idea that how to. do the purchase sum in your circular uh, photometry now come to method 2 okay come to method 2 
so in this uh, uh, method we will be using poser uh, statistics uh, for that you have to import a library from hot utils dot aperture import circular aperture comma aperture stats okay this we don't this we did and now we have to what have to do we have to type variable aperture aperture stats equal to aperture stats then pass your data image data and aperture okay now see if you if you print your if you print your aperture stats let's see what it is uh, what it returns so it is not giving anything so for that you just need to pass some variable like a sum now what to do you want to print say aperture stats dot sum let's see it is returning 3 for 1 2 so you can see that it is returning the last one okay so you can like obtain uh, the whole if you just uh, copy paste it or maybe you can just uh, yeah you can just copy paste it here just copy paste it here and now check it okay so you can see that here's my flux okay as a flux. So it's flux. Okay. And you can check it that you can match with the above that you have uh, double two, uh, two, four, two, three, four, four, two, and three, one. So same things can be also obtained in this way okay you can also like uh, you can also uh, got mean so i am just removing this one you can also obtain purchase stats dot
takes and throw it run it so you can uh, check this one you can also obtain you can also obtain the area okay so for that type command sum percent area so you can see that it is area area is in the pixel i square okay so you can see that area is increasing from the center outward so this way you can obtain flux and its area so i hope you got the idea that how to uh, obtain flux in circular aperture photometry uh, around a source it may be a star it may be galaxy or it may be any object of your interest so we have learned two, two methods using one uh, photometry table and another one using aperture stats so i hope you got the idea and thank you